In this argument, when we acquaint ourselves with the prompt, we find a reason to like it. It's not just an argument, but rather an argument about causality, and those have a regular logic. The logic is that x causes y, to put it in variable terms. Or, in this case, consumers' awareness of the dangers would be x, and it's caused y, the decrease in beer consumption. Alternate possibilities would call the argument into question, or weaken the argument as we've been asked to do. One possibility is that it's not x that causes y, but rather y that causes x. Another possibility is that x and y just happen to coexist. Or a third possibility is that there's a mysterious z, a third cause, which is the actual true cause of y, not x. The correct answer to this question will almost certainly fall into one of these categories. Moving on to the answer choices and looking at them, we can immediately like E. The fact that wine is up gives an alternate cause for beer's decline. It's a shift in the taste of the local population. We have, in other words, found a Z, an alternate explanation for why. Note that the fact people are drinking more wine indicates specifically that they are not swayed by the campaign about risks of alcohol. We can confirm that the other answer choices are objectively inferior. A either strengthens the argument or is irrelevant. B gives a reason why beer drinkers might keep drinking beer, but it doesn't shed light on what has caused this particular sequence of events. C says that not all the rates of decline are the same. That's not so hard to believe. Bars could be down 10% and stores could be down 12%, and it could all be due to the sheriff's campaign. D might reflect negatively on the sheriff, but it doesn't mean that the sheriff's campaign hasn't caused the change. Again, the correct answer is E.